hover to max. Tilt back as far as I can get, or rather as somewhere between 40 and 50, doesn't matter. Do it slowly. Kill rotation. Max thrust. I'm off the ground. 90, per 90 uh, degrees. Uh, I'm going to kill my hovers now. Because those are kind of pushing me off track. There we go. Once I get up to 90, I'm going to kind of leave it there and raise my landing gear, which uh, I'll show you where that is. It's going to be at all the way at the bottom right. Do you see where those uh, three green dots are at the bottom right of my uh, controls here? I'm going to click that real fast. They're red, they're flake, they're blash, they're blinky, they're flashy. That's good. Now that all my air resistance is removed, notice how decent my vertical acceleration now is. Right on the money on 90 degrees, good. Well, not quite right on the money, but I'll accept 89. Now, while I'm doing this, well, what angle, what direction should we go when we set up our orbit? Well, let's take a look at a map. Let's target the ISS, that is the International Space Station. You'll notice, relative to me, its path takes us southeast over this given location. So it's reasonable that we might want to go southeast. Now, how do I tell southeast on my uh, surface display? It doesn't give me an SE. Well, if you look, south is 180, the uh, half of a circle, as you know. Assuming north is 0, south is 180, and east is 90. I want to go halfway between 90 and 180. Whoops, I got a little off track there. What is half of 90? Half of 90 is 45. What is 90 plus 45? 135. So, you'll notice it's getting a little dark because not as much air is uh, filtering all the sunlight that's hitting me. You'll notice my uh, pressures here are decreasing at a rather pleasing rate. And once I get past a certain point, I won't really have to uh, play with my joystick anymore. You'll notice that I'm staying more and more on the money without really having to worry about it. I actually have now entirely let go of my joystick, and it's staying pretty perfect. I don't really have to worry about it. I'm going to stretch a little bit. Notice we're uh, pretty close to halfway up the Karman line. Our uh, pressure is decreasing at a uh, exponential rate, which is good. Now what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to tilt down a little bit. I'm going to tilt down to 80, because we're approaching that Karman line. Now that we're at 80, there we go, 131, 13, come on, 136, 135, that's exactly where I want it to be. Now I'm going to uh, adjust my bank so it's not nearly so drastic. I want my bank to be zero. There we go. If I'm at 136, whatever, 
at a bank of zero. I'm going to get away from my map multifunction display and look at orbit. That way I can see what I'm doing, my, what kind of progress I'm making. Now, I'm going to stop worrying about my altitude. because I'm halfway up to 300, which is pretty much where I want to be. Uh, 300 looks about like where I want to be. So now I'm going to focus entirely on uh, speed, which you'll notice I'm actually doing damage to. That's because I've got a lot of speed in the wrong direction. What I'm going to do uh, if I start to approach apoapsis here, someone, well, who am I kidding? No one's going to shout out to me if this is a YouTube video. Anyway, so now that my speed is increasing in the right direction, I want to get up, get up to about 7 kilometers a second. That's probably about where I'm going to be happy. Keep in mind, that's a wild guess. You don't have to memorize that. You'll uh, develop a second sense for that over time. There we go. That's exactly what I want to start seeing. My, uh, hold on, let me set my HUD to, uh, orbital display. Excellent. I'm going to use my hovers to increase my apoapsis. I want my apoapsis higher. Now I'm going to target the ISS. I'm going to keep adjusting that apoapsis. I want that almost perfectly at 300. Now you'll notice, because we launched at a reasonable uh, angle, my inclination is only about four off from uh, the ISS. So if you remember, on the uh, lunar tutorial, I think we were like 20-something off. We wasted a lot, we used a lot of fuel adjusting that, but I didn't really want to uh, get you guys into worrying about your inclination during launch just yet. But uh, now that we have the Delta Glider, or rather, now that you're more familiar with the Delta Glider, I'm not really worried about it. You'll notice, uh, here, let me, this projection button changes the angle at which I'm looking at the Earth. So projection is now ship. You'll notice, hey, this circle's already here, and this circle's growing. Whoa, Apoapsis is getting a little close. I want to raise that. Keep in mind I'm cheating using my hovers. In orbit, you really want to use the, uh, let's say traditional uh, methods of orbit management. During launch, you know, it, it's, it's an anything goes kind of a situation. Just don't try to adjust inclination in the middle of a launch. You're, uh, the air is going to resist you more than uh, the ship is. It's, it's a waste of fuel. Unless you uh, got it right. But if you got it wrong, leave it that way. Unless it's really early in the situation. So, Dramatic example here. In the Earth here, this uh, solid green dot is my apoapsis. So in my orbit, in my uh, travels around the uh, world here. Come on, keep raising apoapsis. In my travels around the world here, let's say that I could fly through the Earth. This green dot is the closest I would come to the center, the focal point of that orbit the center of mass. Now, this uh, hollow dot here is the farthest away I get from that. So periapsis, think of that as small. Apoapsis, think of that as big. 
closest, farthest. Now, if we take a look at that, uh, if you remember the sheet metal example extending through the equator, here I have my ascending node and descending node. What I really want to do is I want to get some decent distance above the uh, International Space Station. You'll, you'll see why. There we go. I'm just going to use prograde from now for, for now on so because I'm decently up in space and my orbit is uh reasonable. Remember green circle is my orbit, yellow circuit is the uh, yellow circle is their orbit. Okay, so what we're going to do here, now that I have this uh, orbit, I'm going to kill my autopilot and I'm going to fast forward over to uh, my apoapsis, which is now very high in the sky over here. <laughs> 